ranking system on that. But let's talk about ladies first, if you will, the, uh, the <laughs> girls lacrosse. And we'll start right here at home. The Needham High girls lacrosse team last year uh, only graduated four players in the 2011 yeah. team. And this team, uh, of course, led by Beth O'Brien, who's done a very nice job as the head coach mm -hmm. uh, for the girls. She took over Paula Kelly, who was a legend here. Uh, tough shoes to fill mm -hmm. as a girls across coach. And Paula Kelly, of course, won four state championships within a matter of five or six years. But the girls team, uh, last year's South sectional runners up in 2011. And a lot of good things for them to come in 2012. And it seems like every year they always have a date with uh, Westwood in the <laughs> Who doesn't? The tournament. Yeah, it's, it's incredible, I know. Yeah, and then this yeah. uh, credit to Westwood. We'll talk about them in just a few moments as well. But some Needham High girls across players we should keep an eye on in the 2012 season from your book. Yeah, it obviously starts with, with Aubin and Waldstein. Obviously, you know, four-year starters there. Um, we were talking off camera a little bit before. Yep. They've been together so long that they very much are a collaborative. They're one in the same. Yep. They look at the game. Uh, they play with a lot of speed. I think that's you know one thing from all commentators that I've talked to in my experience is that you know they bring a lot of speed to the table, yep. and that's really what makes them go. Obviously, with both of them committed to Georgetown and Harvard, mm. um, these are not only you know top flight legitimate all Americans at the high school level. These are going to be impact players as well at the college level as well as we've seen with some of those Westwood girls that have gone out to Northwestern yeah. in the past. Obviously like a, long, a, a long lineage, yeah, the feeder system, yeah. if you will, at Westwood High Seriously. for the for, for those Wildcats. <laughs> but uh, yeah. um, I mean, you're looking at two girls here that, again, as I said, these aren't just top line talents for this area. They're very much high division one ranking college athletes as well. when they make that jump to, I, I mean, I think we have pretty good confidence that they'll be able to adapt pretty well to that college game and, and play it very well. And a tribute to Tori Waldstein, to a three-sport athlete, also a three-sport captain, soccer, basketball, and of course exactly. lacrosse. So it's almost unheard of now, the three-sport athletes in the high school level. Yeah, it's going right? away a little bit, but yeah. there are some good ones out there. Obviously. Oh, absolutely. Credit to them. Credit yeah. to those that are around there. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the girls lacrosse team for Needham, they are uh, ranked pretty high, and we'll take a look at their mm -hmm. schedule, some key games to watch. Uh, throughout the season and games we'll be covering for you right here on the Needham channel. The girls lacrosse team will have Acton Boxborough on March 30th. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good game to watch, a non-conference game. Then they go against Cold Spring Harbor, New York. Yeah. New York team on April 12th. Andover on April 23rd is also... Big test there. Yep, and, and then Wellesley and Framingham. And as we said, Westwood, but it's not until May though. So some big games right there to keep an eye on for the girls team. Yeah, I think a lot of those teams that you just mentioned, they're kind of the usual culprits there that you look out for every year at D1, uh, you know, the state tournament this time of year. Obviously, Westwood is the academy. They're the crown standard. They're always going to be, I think, the team that everybody is chasing. It's always their game to win. But you mentioned Andover, a team there that I think, uh, you know, is in the national poll as well. For ESPNHS at number 44. Yep. And then you always, get, you always get to talk about Lincoln Sudbury, of course, is always in that picture as well. And then uh, another team that you mentioned, in, you know, in a Bay State League uh, opponent there in Framingham, uh, yes. which, you know, had a, had a little bit of, a, uh, I would say, an adjustment year last year. Had some young players uh, mm -hmm. that were coming in and kind of trying to, you know, fill some big holes there. But, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of those teams that you just mentioned that Needham will see in the regular season are probably teams that they will come, you know, yeah. whether it's on a different side of the bracket or in their own side of the bracket, yeah. they'll probably end up seeing it at some point in the postseason. All right, and, uh, you know, a tribute to them. I mean, obviously, the Bay State Conference is actually a pretty good conference, too. We're talking about Needham, of course, Framingham, you just mentioned them. Wellesley is actually pretty decent. Absolutely. So it's pretty, uh, one of, of course, respected. it looks over to the boys' side as well. I, I yeah. think really one of the deeper, you know, public school, uh, you know, conferences in the state. Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, not just Needham. Uh, for the girls' side as well, but other girls lacrosse teams we should be watching here throughout the Bay State in Massachusetts, not the conference, but in Massachusetts. Obviously, we talked about Westwood being 37th ranked yep. in the national ESPN high school poll. Yep. Uh, Andover is 44th ranked in the uh, ESPN national yep. high school poll. And of course, uh, you know, these things are ob obviously tend to change uh, yes. during the year, I would expect. That if Needham plays as we expect, they will. I think you know they'll they'll get a crack at that uh, Fab 50, as they like to call it, uh, on ESPN HS. Oh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I like that name. Fab nice 50. Name. You know how else yep. can you say it? Sure. But I would expect that if Needham takes care of business and is is 
joins that pack. Uh, I think that I really do personally, you know, regard them as part of that pack. I think they'll be right there when all is said and done at the end of the season. Do you have a couple of key players to watch throughout the state of Massachusetts for the girls' side of things? Yeah, I mean, uh, start back in the Needham side, obviously. I I really think, you know, Aubin and Waldstein, I really think they might be the two best players in the state this year. Wow, no kidding. would go out there. All right, and then maybe your top three, top five girls lacrosse teams in the state? I'll leave that for Brendan Hall. (laughs) We got the rankings coming That's up. That's your co partner. Yeah, exactly. We got okay. the uh, the rankings coming out in about a week or so. Okay. We're uh, deliberating that right now. But okay. we'll, uh, we'll maybe give you a couple hints as the days un- unravel here in both the boys and the girls. But uh, okay. look for those next week on the, on the website. Great. Beautiful.